Mehta's our top focus, the launch of Aditya L1, the first space-based Indian observatory to study the sun, is scheduled for September 2nd, 2023 at 11.50 a.m. ISD from Sri Harikota. The spacecraft will travel 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth, nearly four times farther than the moon. Now, the probe will be launched aboard ISRO's PSLV XL rocket and will head towards the Langridge Point L1, traveling for four months in total. Aditya L1 will study coronal heat and solar wind acceleration, the coronal mass ejections and the sun's atmosphere and its effect on Earth. My colleague Dharani joins me over the phone lines. Dharani, this is of course great news, but tell us what one can expect from the launch of Aditya L1. Aditya L1 will be India's uh, first mission in connection with the sun. Uh, so this will be a space-based observatory clash, uh, a solar mission. Uh, this will be unlocking, uh, you know, uh, answers for several questions that uh, humanity still has about uh, the sun. Uh, so, you know, uh, this, uh, as I told, uh, this will the launch will happen on uh, September 2, around 11.50 p.m. from 11.50 a.m., pardon me, 11.50 a.m. from the Satish Thavan Space Center in Shrigiri Kota is what we're given to understand. And uh, again, as I told, uh, this will be India's first uh, mission that aims, you know, uh, that aims for the uh, uh, better understanding of uh, the sun. Uh, a few days back, we had this huge success with Chandrayaan-3, and ISRO has become unstoppable now. Within the, you know, within a few days from the success of Chandrayaan-3, now they have announced the launch date of, uh, you know, Aditya L1 uh, mission 2. And, you know, this uh, this mission will uh, travel 1.5 million kilometers, which is, you know, four times farther than that of the moon. You know, uh, the, the distance that uh, that's between the Earth and the moon, uh, that will be four times, uh, you know, uh, is what, uh, uh, you know, uh, th th that will be the distance between uh, the Earth and this Aditya L1, uh, you know, mission's uh, destination is what we're given to understand. And this will be a space-based observatory class solar probe, uh, which means that, uh, you know, uh, through this uh, mission, ISRO is trying to understand the properties of the sun, uh, the properties of uh, the rays, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, that, that are emanating from the sun. And they'll try to, uh, you know, uh, come up with answers for several questions that are still un unanswered about the sun. This will be India's first mission to explore the sun, you know, to be... Uh, uh, to be precise. Uh, so definitely, uh, you know, just after reaching uh, the moon, you know, getting hold of the moon, now this row is targeting for sun. Uh, they are trying to figure out, uh, you know, uh, figure out answers uh, for several unanswered, uh, you know, questions in connection with the sun. Right, Dharani, just a quick follow-up question, you know, like you, of course, mentioned, this comes right after how India did successfully manage um, to be at the moon, at the South Pole, in fact. So talk to us about that, that there's nothing that is stopping ISRO from its future plans as well. Talks big about India's space uh, missions as well. I you, sir. All right, we'll uh, of course try uh, connecting with Dharani if possible, but what we can tell our viewers as far as the launch of Aditya L1 is concerned is it's the first space-based Indian observatory to study the sun and is of course scheduled for September 2nd, uh, 2023 at 11.50 a.m. IST from Sri Harikota is what we're learning so far. Let me go across to my colleague Ashish joining me from the newsrooms. Ashish, good evening. This is, of course, great news that's coming in. You know, just to give our viewers a quick sense of what's in store as far as this is concerned, as you talk about that, also, of course, talks about how India and ISRO is unstoppable as far as space missions are also concerned. Well, absolutely. Good evening, Nivedna. Very good news for Indian space lovers. The date is fixed. ISRO is all set to go to the sun, but it is very uh, important to understand what ISRO is trying to do because there have been missions that have tried to study the sun's outer atmosphere. Now, this particular mission by ISRO will be doing the same, but it has its own set of instruments on board as well. We're talking about seven payloads that this particular probe will be carrying. Now, what exactly will Aditya L1 do? That's the main question. Now, Aditya L1 will, in fact, uh, go around 1.5 million kilometers 
meters from Earth, which is around four times farther than the moon. And that's a lot of distance to cover. It will take around four months to cover this entire distance. And once it goes there, Aditya L1 will park itself in a point known as L1. Now, this is a Lagrange 1 point. So basically what happens is when there are two bodies, two celestial bodies which have a gravitational system, there is a particular region that is created where a vehicle or a spacecraft can be parked and it has to use minimal fuel to in fact continue its duration. And that is exactly a point where Aditya L1 will be parked. So ISRO clearly trying to save fuel as well here. Again, one of their highlights has been how cost effective the missions have been and Aditya L1 will also have all of that. Now, what exactly will Aditya L1 do? That's the next question. Now, Aditya L1 will study uh, the sun's corona, the uh, chromosphere and also the focus will be on the sun's atmosphere, upper atmosphere. What exactly causes the corona mass ejections? What exactly causes the solar winds? How it affects, uh, you know, the, the temperatures on Earth, the weather here and all of those details. So, a lot of key, key details will be picked up by this particular probe and as and when it does, once it reaches that particular point, this will be a major boost to India's space mission because this again will be a data point that will be looked at from uh, the space agencies from around the world and India will of course be sharing all of these details with the rest of the world and that could again aid their future missions as well and again this particular mission, the highlight of this mission is the fact that India has never travelled so far in space. It's the first time that India will be travelling 1.5 kilometres from the Earth and that in itself will be an amazing feat by the Indian Space Agency. Absolutely, Ashish. Thank you very much for joining us on the broadcast and helping our viewers better understand what's in store. And like you said, it's of course giving a boost to Indian space mission as well. But I want to thank you as well as Dharani for joining us on the broadcast. We leave the conversation at that.